Well, you've been a, a very good prognosticator as to what the future of the church is, where we're moving to. If you had that opportunity to forecast out five, ten years, uh, when it comes to global mission, yeah. what are we going to see? Yeah, economists are not good at very good at forecasting, <laughs> but I think not right now. I can guarantee <laughs> and, that. Uh, but I think the Bible gives us so I'm going to look at the Bible instead Thank of you. economic data because the Bible's more reliable. Well, you've been very accurate. You know, I think the Bible tells us that the kingdom is upside down. The Bible tells us that God has chosen the foolish things and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are. So I don't think we should be at all surprised that the center of Christianity has shifted um, from the arrogant West to the marginalized, to the poor, to churches that are on the fringe. And, and um, I think we're going to continue to see the church advancing. The Bible says it will advance amongst those who Jesus cared so passionately about. Uh, he, he came to preach good news to the poor. So we shouldn't be surprised that Togo, which ranks dead last in the World Happiness Survey, uh, is a place where the church is advancing, and where we're seeing the gospel go forward through the poorest churches in the world. Uh, I got to see... Um, uh, uh, very poor churches calling, using these savings and credit associations to call people out of lifestyles of voodoo practice, forsaking uh, the Christians there call the voodoo practicers um, uh, the idol worshipers. And it got to see people forsaking their idolatry and coming to Christ, got to see Muslims coming to Christ, got to see marriages being restored because the, there's power in the local church because she is the body and bride and fullness of Jesus Christ. And so that thing that doesn't have many resources has power in her. You know, the book of Ephesians says the same power is in the church that raised Christ from the dead. And so we should bank on that power in the local church, in the local church and its ministry is the same power that raised Christ from the dead. It's a resurrection power. I got to see that in my recent trip to Togo. So I, my, my, my forecast would be we're gonna see the church continue to advance amongst the least of these.